Okay, John the Van Guy. Just sort of show you what's been happening. Uh, cell attachment. Now you can see what I've done here. I've had to use I use a cardboard template to actually cut in uh, or make this back plate, which has a number of I suppose you call them U's shapes in this. I've done it in two pieces and welded them in. Um, then I put the actual sill on and I did it so that the bottom of the new plate uh, was about on the edge of the sill. Then I simply bent round the new sill, the front sill, uh, to meet this back plate, the new back plates I put on. See, this is welded all in place. Uh, and um, seems to have worked. I welded it all together. The problem is then, once you've done all that, all along here I've done, you can see where I've done those patches up there. I used two mil steel on that because it's kind of structural area. Yeah, that far in there. Um, right, the problem is when you come to the ends. So, if I take you outside, I'll show you a few little neat little tricks. What I have to do at the ends. This is where you have to do the bit of the fabrication. So, the ends, of course, uh, I had to put a, that shape in there cut the shape accordingly. Um, again, cardboard templates, very handy. Uh, and then cleaned it all up and welded in. Um, you can see this was all gone here, so I put a plate in, on here as well. Um, and welded that on and rubbed it down. Now, the thing I've come across just now is quite a handy to know. Uh, I've been looking to see how you end up with a, an edge, a sharp edge around there which is not very healthy looking. So I was wondering how to bend this round and shrink it slightly so I could actually bend in a lip on the end of this new sill. Um, and I came up with this idea. There's probably lots of ways to do it. And they used, uh, obviously they, they use what they call them, special tools in the workshop, round wheels on, uh, pressured on. Um, now I'm using this. Now this is uh, creating a lip for welding. So I've got this up attached to the compressor at the moment and you can see it shuts and creates a flange in the metal. So what I did, uh, I created a flange all the way around here to give me an even flange, went round with that tool um, and then using pliers simply bent it round uh, using that lip as a guide really which is created by the flange tool. Now when I got here of course you end up with um, you need to somehow crease or shrink the metal here and what I found a way to do it I found in my tool collection I've done this before I found this old thing um, it's probably a wire cutter in fact so you have to find something similar and using that I crimped just down here as you like a crimp of a sort I suppose a, a beer bottle top you crimp it so I've just shrunk it round there uh, and that took up the slack really um, now what I did, uh, take out some of the creases using um, a grinder, just took out some of the creases uh, and using a little bit of a hammer. So now it's looking, I did put a cut in here as well to take off some of the excess. And so now I'm able to bend that round and I think once that's painted up it will look like uh, a decent curve and it doesn't look so lethal. Um, as an edge. So there you go, tip for the day. Get yourself a flange tool, very handy for welding anyway. Um, 
saves you having to butt weld and gives you a little bit more reinforcement. Thank you.